A violent crash test outside Audi Field today led <coughs> to tears and calls for change. Mothers who lost children in what's known as an underride accident, they demanded lawmakers approve a bill that would keep families from enduring the pain they have. The proposed legislation came on the heels of WUSA 9's Big Rigs, Big Risks series, a story we've been on since 2017. Investigative reporter Eric Flack with more on today's emotional demonstration. Imagine you were the driver or passenger in a crash that ends like this. What if it was your family member or friend? Today, safety advocates called on Congress to act to stop crashes that end like this. And he careened off the concrete embankment, came back underneath the semi-trailer. Uh, the truck driver drug his car for a half a mile until it caught on fire and Riley burned to death. Eric Hines' 16-year-old son Riley died in an underride accident in New Mexico in 2015. Tuesday, Hine was in D.C. to witness crash tests he hoped will keep others from feeling the same loss. This is a tragedy that is entirely preventable. I don't want any other families to have to suffer like we have. Here's why he says his son's death was preventable. Crash tests showing how a side guard can stop a vehicle from getting jammed underneath a trailer in what's known as an underride accident, which often kills or even decapitates the passengers inside. After WUSA 9's series of underride reports and relentless pressure from the families of underride victims, U.S. Senators Kristen Gillibrand and Marco Rubio introduced the Stop Underrides Act, which would help prevent deadly underride crashes by requiring underride guards on the sides of all semis and update standards for underride guards on the back of trucks, which are already required but our investigation found don't always hold up in a crash. That's how 17-year-old Analia and 13-year-old Mary Carth died on a Georgia highway in 2013. Their mom, Mary Ann, part of a grassroots team that helped organize today's crash tests less than two miles from the U.S. Capitol to show Congress why passing the Stop Underrides Act is so important. The demonstration's final crash test, the most dramatic, done on a trailer without an underride guard. A heart-wrenching reminder for a still like grieving mother. In the blink of an eye, a life is gone. That's how it happens. In the blink of an eye, people die. Now, the trucking industry opposes the tougher underride guard standards and requirements. They say the requirements would yield little, if any, safety benefit while costing truckers billions of dollars to comply. Now, if you want to see the raw, unedited video of today's crash test, all you got to do is head over to our website or our news app.